what's up and welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm showing you seven hairstyles on one wig one look for each day of the week so let's get right into it i'm quickly going through the wig install for the first day i already have a step-by-step -step wig install tutorial on my page so go check that out if you want a full tutorial on how i install my wigs and the wig is available on dylanswigcloset.com and all the products that i'm using are linked in the description down below I'm currently staying in London and my last Airbnb had mold on the wall in my bedroom so I was sleeping next to mold for like a week so uh, if I look sick in this video that's why so for the first day of the week I'm doing a middle part this is kind of my go-to at the moment I feel like I always have like a go-to hairstyle and it changes like every other month and right now it's definitely the middle part so here I'm just styling the hair making sure the curls look good and before I blow dry the hair I always use some got to be and then I dry the hair on a cool setting so that it dries kind of in this wet look and when that's all done this is the look for Monday drinking my lemon water because I had to detox my body from this mold in my house so this was the first look of the week it was quick easy it's not one of those hairstyles where you spend an hour doing your hair so yeah let's get on to the next hairstyle well the wig is glued down so I'm just using my elastic band to put some pressure on the lace and the glue before I'm wetting my hair. This also protects the lace from getting wet. For this hairstyle I'm combing all the hair forward. It was actually my go-to hairstyle for the longest time when I was just starting doing wigs because it's such an easy hairstyle, very beginner friendly, you don't see the lace so I usually do this when the lace is like dirty or I didn't really wash the hair. Throughout this video you'll notice me touching the hair a lot, I don't know, it's just a habit of mine, I always do it, people always comment on it, but yeah, this was the hairstyle for this day. On to the next hairstyle, so this is definitely for the days where I feel lazy to do my hair, so I just sweat the hair quickly, make sure it looks somewhat nice before putting on my cap. I feel like wearing caps is such a good solution for a bad hair day. And even though it's a wig, sometimes you just don't feel like putting so much effort into the hair. So I feel like caps are a good solution for days like that or just when you feel lazy. So for the next hairstyle, I'm doing a side part. I think I had a dinner this night, so I wanted to feel like I was looking well put together. And I feel like a side part always makes me feel like that. So here I'm just styling the hair, making sure the sides are kind of slicked back before putting in the product. This hairstyle definitely takes a little bit more time. Maybe it's because I'm just like a perfectionist and I need the side part to be perfect. I need the placements of the curls to be perfect. So yeah, this definitely takes some more time than the other hairstyles. Again, I put some hairspray before drying the hair on a cool setting. Then I take off the elastic band and I just get rid of the hairs that are stuck in the glue. This usually happens because of the elastic band, but because the lace is exposed today, we definitely want to get rid of those little hairs. I put some extra hairspray so the hair doesn't move. This is not a hairstyle I do often, but again, when I want to feel well put together, this is definitely what I go for. So on to the next one. Okay, this was definitely an experimental look for me. I think I've never even tried it before the video. I think I saw this look on Pinterest or something, so I wanted to try it, but I'm not really good at cornrowing hair. So um, yeah, it was worth a try. I put on the Durac to make the cornrows a little bit more flat because they were kind of bumpy. I wasn't really feeling it like this, I probably should have cornrowed the sides as well. So I decided to just slick back the sides. This is definitely a look that I want to try again anytime soon. I think I just have to practice my cornrow game. And I think this works better on like a full lace wig, this is a 13 by 6 lace wig. But that's the fun thing about wigs, you can always try different things. And on this next hairstyle I was trying something new again, which I didn't end up liking, but we'll get there. So the plan was to slick back the sides and then comb the hair forward. I don't really know what the vision was for this hairstyle, but I ended up not liking it at all. So after drying the hair for a little bit, I realized that I was not feeling it. So I had to come up with a plan quickly because I had little time to get ready. So I put on the elastic band again, re-wet the hair so I could style it easier. So I was going for like a wet look middle part where it's still kind of slicked back, but like everything is kind of slicked back. So after styling the hair, I take off the elastic band. I felt like this was a little bit too exposed also because I didn't put a lot of foundation on my head on this day. So I decided to put some curls to the front just to give this hairstyle something extra. This is also not a hairstyle that I do often, but I actually think it ended up being kind of fun. This is definitely a look that I want to try more often, but I feel like whenever the lace is visible, like with this look, I feel like it has to be perfect. So I needed more foundation or like a wake up or something. But yeah, let's move on to the last look. I call this the Sunday look. This is for days where you don't want to clean your lace, when you're lazy to put in 
just any effort into the hair like i'm not even gonna glue down the wig i just make it wet so that the hair doesn't look too frizzy which doesn't really matter because i'm putting on a beanie anyway i feel like the look without the hair under the beanie looks completely different so yeah this is for the lazy days and these were all the looks thank you for watching and i see you guys next time